So I just need a little something sweet to eat while I'm waiting for the um, shish kebabs to be cooked. I just need a little something sweet. I don't have anything. I don't have any cake. I don't have any candy. Oh, what do I do? The only thing I have is jelly and Dutch's honey. Keeping it Dutch shared his honey with uh, Jason and Jaylena and I got to keep the bottle. So I need a sweet fix. Let's see what it tastes like. Yes, I'm eating it by the spoonful. All right, keeping it Dutch. That is so delicious. Mm -mm. Mm. That is delicious. What's going on over there? Dutch, you can send me a case of this anytime. Delicioso. Keeping it Dutch, folks. Keeping it Dutch. Check him out. Well, we're going to have some uh, Nelgai shish kebabs. And uh, as you can see, which one do you think is mine? This one? Or that one? <laughs> What kind of meat? It's nail guy. Marinated it a little bit. Now I'm going to cook it up. Let's see how things turn out. Wait, let's open it up again. Let me see if I can get in there and about how long? Well if you'd like, I can do this. I can move it out here where it's more in the sun. That'd make it better for you. It does if it don't bother your cooking. It won't bother my cooking. So I'm going to shut her down and let it get good and warm in there. Alrighty, we'll check back. This is called a hummingbird vine. I don't see any hummingbirds yet, but one day you'll see them covered in all of those red flowers. They love it. Looks like we're gonna get even more rain. Ooh wee, that looks threatening. Certain we were gonna go with Ma and Pa Crocker. And looking on the comments, most of you agreed with that. Probably 95% of you said, yes, Mom, Pa, Crocker. Then there was that other few percent that said, George and I aren't quite old enough to be called Mom, and Pa. Perhaps we should reconsider. And hey, somebody tells me I'm looking too young to do something. I'm going to listen to them. So we've been thinking of their names. So here, listen to these names. Keeping up with the Crockers. The, the OG Crockers are the Crockers OG, uh, the original Crockers, Crocker Doodle Doo, um, or just Mom and Dad Crocker since the boys really call us Mom and Dad. So, we still haven't decided. Keep adding the comments below. Maybe reconsider the Mom and Pa kettle and see what else we can come with, up with. Let's think about it. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just putting a kiss of... Uh, Death? No, it's that bullseye, Texas, spicy, tangy. Oh, it's good. Yummy. Just, Even, that's one of your favorites. I know, that's one of the one sauces I do like. Normally I like my meat, just meat. But that is one sauce I enjoy. Yeah. Think we're going to get any more rain? Yeah, I'm sure we will. It was a gully washer there for a while, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a frog strangler. <laughs> Remember when we used to have frogs in the pond? Oh, uh, yeah, frogs and turtles and fish. And that's one drawback of living down here is the rain. It just doesn't rain enough to actually uh, run off and fill in the pond. So I'm trying to talk Ma into letting me drill a water well 
so that I can keep my part of the pond like I want. And Ma says, it's too much money. Yeah. <laughs> we just need to spend our kids' inheritance. I, I hear you. So, uh, how much longer? Till the kids will spend No, kids till the food's ready. Oh, I'd say probably another 20 minutes at the most. So when can we start spending? <laughs> Immediately? Yeah, why not? All right. Jason and Jay Leader said now what they're going to do, so, hey, just let that be their inheritance. We'll spend the money. <laughs> Well, honey, you ready to eat this wonderful meal? We have boiled shrimp. As you can see, a big bowl of fresh boiled shrimp. That's what I'm going to be eating most of. My homemade red dipping sauce. Yum, yum. With fresh horseradish from Beaver Brand jars. <laughs> and nail guy shish kebabs with potatoes and mushrooms and onions i think right yes and you they're brushed with your special it's a texas sauce yes and this is more of hers and this is more of mine if you can see mine's heavily loaded with beef or not beef nail guy because <laughs> she is more of a vegetable person i am and as always, we're finishing off with HUV Coke Zero. No, I do not get paid to say that. I just really like the Coke. So let's give this some taste here. I really want those shrimp. You want to bless oh, the food? I would like to bless the food. All right. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for this food which we are about to receive, and we pray that you'll bless it for the nourishment of our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Pass me those shrimp. It's raining hard again outside. We've had some strange weather today, as always. What do they say in Texas? If you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. It was raining real hard, and then it got sunny, so we went out and barbecued this. And during the barbecue time, it all started building up again. Okay, so we're Excuse not Excuse the fingers, but that's how I do it. And it's our food. That's right. Nobody else is here. <laughs> And we're not going to make you watch the whole thing, but we are going to taste it and let you know. I absolutely adore boiled shrimp, and we just never have them for some reason. But let's see what a great job George did. We did taste test earlier, too. And there's some times down at the level of the beach at that store. I don't, I don't recall if we filmed in it or not. But Bath and Bay Convenience Store. Right. Bath they, and Convenience Store. The Hunter Brink's on that one. Right. They catch shrimp and they usually let them let them know when they're available that is awesome if you pass me a napkin oh i got one thank you that's absolutely wonderful now i'm gonna give these veggies a try honey and the meat i guess if i have to eat the meat nail guy mm. Mm, i'm gonna taste the nail guy y'all mm. mm -hmm. mm. with my fingers jared you ain't got nothing on us and I understand Jason sent us a, uh, a picture and a text. No goodie, you can't have any. <laughs> Sorry, you got food. Mm. Anyway, they sent us a text earlier and said... Jason and Jaylena. Yeah. Their kebabs. They had their picture of their kebabs. They look good. They had, you know, bell pepper and things like that. Potatoes, I think. Me, nail guy probably, like me. So I wrote back, we have, we're having the same thing for dinner except we're having boiled shrimp with ours. And he wrote back, quit one up in us or something yeah. like that. So we decided we'd have shrimp and turf today. Well, honey, it's delicious. All the potatoes are great, the mushrooms, the potato, the onion, all of it. And the meal guy is delicious. I really didn't think I'd like it that much. But that, with that sauce on it, is awesome. But... The boiled shrimp is what I'm ready to fill up on. That was my, uh, I used some Old Bay, but then I added a bunch of my own stuff to it, so. And right before I 
turn the camera off, guys. I wanted to say on yesterday's video, I told you we were going to be meeting uh, Tiki. Well, Tiki's little clip got edited out by mistake, and so we will be... Maybe I'll throw it in this one. <laughs> Either throw it in this one or we'll send you another clip of, of Tiki. Because we want you to meet her. You met all the other pets. Mm -mm. I hate to even get up and stop the camera because it tastes so good. My fingers are too big and too greasy to hit that. Okay. No good. Can't have any. No. no. This is Tiki. Tiki is about 14 years old, and she came to us from Matt. Matt had her as a newborn kitten and kept her three or four years, and we decided, we all decided that Tiki would be best off in our house. So, she is a blue Russian, and they are pretty picky with their loving. They only give it when they want to give it. So, she's a beautiful kitty. We really love her. This is Miss Tiki. This is my third kebab. She <laughs> ate three. No, she ate two, I think. <laughs> but, but how much? The trawler net's full of dead... Uh, shrimp in our plate. How much shrimp is left? Uh, not a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> I think we hit it pretty hard. Well, honey, you want to give them an update on your mom? Yeah, I, uh, I talked to her earlier, and um, my sister-in-law was going to go pick her up and her mother and a friend, and I think they were going to have some kind of a, a you know, sit around talk visit type thing so she's doing a lot better thanks for all your prayers